Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. Batman? Yes, Mr. Wayne. Have you heard Mr. Freeze's scurrilous demands? Just briefly. If Robin and I act as go-betweens, are you prepared to make the telecast at midnight and pay the ransom, Mr. Wayne? I have no choice, Batman. Then may I suggest you tape the broadcast from the commissioner's office an hour earlier, and we will have a dummy package of money. A dummy package of money? That sounds risky. Risk is our business, Mr. Wayne. Of course, Batman, I have the same faith in you that all of Gotham City has. I hope Robin and I are deserving of that faith. I'll make the necessary arrangements and meet you at the Commissioner's office at 11. Fine. Did you get all that, Commissioner? This young lady is a stranger to our shores. Her request is not unnatural, however impossible to grant. If Robin and I were to remove our masks, the secret of our true identities would be revealed. From that day forward, I vowed to avenge my parents' fate by devoting my life to fighting crime. I worked hard at it, building my body, and I studied, too. Countless hours, I learned that criminals are a cowardly lot, which gave me the idea to wear a disguise that would strike fear in their hearts. But what disguise? And then the answer came to me, like an omen. And so I became Batman, the man with no fear. Got him, sit. Come on, Robin, to the Batmobile. Come on, Robin, let's go. A duty calls, Robin. Someone's in trouble in Gotham City. Don't argue, Robin. To the Batmobile. Walk to a crime. Struggling in vain. Gather your wits, old chum. We seem to have fallen prey to that painted Pagliacci of perfidy. None other. <laughs> Clown face, what in the name of Huntley and Brinkley do you plan to do to us? That's right, my panicky chum. In a few moments, you and I will literally blush ourselves to death. Fortunately, I always carry my carousel reversal spray. Patience for harlequin hoodlums like yourself. Oh no, our nefarious soul foe, that plundering Punchinello the Joker. Once again, the dynamic duo spring into action to protect the good and true citizens of Gotham. Brace yourself, boy wonder. Those are military-grade poles, not for fun or recreation. To the Batmobile, Robin, we need to put a stop to that grinning devil. I did not, my fine super companions. I didn't want to offend anyone with a gluten allergy. You're a grim-looking bunch compared to the villains in my world, but I have a feeling you fall down exactly the same! <laughs> Penguin gas, eh? You never learn. To the Batmobile? Not so fast, old chum. Jaywalking is extremely hazardous, especially at night. As duly deputized officers of the law, it is imperative we follow the rules. Quickly, Robin, to the crosswalk! The only thing these fiends will be multiplying with that device is their prison sentences. To the bat rocket! Up with your flippers, you unholy three, and hope that I leave enough of you to put behind prison bars. Actually, Robin, I'm thinking of sending them out of the airlock. Technically, we're outside of the jurisdiction of Gotham PD. Here, I play by my own rules. Let's do this. You wanna get nuts? <clears throat> Let's get nuts, Riddler. This is the operating table, and I'm the surgeon. Surrender, bookworm, you larcenous literatus. Wait, aren't you forgetting something? Yes, but not as much as yours does, boy wonder. I wouldn't want anyone else at my side in this never-ending fight against crime. Now move to safety, that's an order. As a duly deputized officer of the law and your friend, I implore you to fight this, Harvey. Wait, doesn't the coin have to decide? Now's your chance, Harvey. Fight him! 
Let's get out of here, Harvey. 